Y'all, this is our spot. This is one place that's always on the list. When we want a good meal, we just want to know that we're going to enjoy ourselves, that the food is going to be good, that the ambiance is going to be good. This is where we make our way. Hey, people. So today, Carl and I, we're at one of our favorite places. So this isn't exactly a new place. This is more of a place that's just like always on the list. We're at Stony River. So this was a place that was on the list at one point. Every time we would come to the mall, we would see this place, y'all. Stony River, Stony River. And we would be like, what type of food is that? Oh, okay, it's a steakhouse. And I'm not really a big like steak, steak eater. I have to be in a mood for steak. So we would always say that we was gonna try it. We were like, oh, we should try that one day. Oh, we should try that one day. We go to the mall, probably like, wanna go to that place today? Like, ah, not really in the mood for steak. And we finally came in here one day. And we have been fans ever since. And yeah, so it's like, you know, if you want like a step up from like Longhorn or that type of situation, you want a little step up, but you don't wanna go too, too fancy. Stony River, it's like right there. So this little side menu is like the chef's creations menu. Every time we've ever come, there's been something different on this menu. Um, but this bigger menu, it always stays the same. So some of the things that we have had on here before that we know that we like, we had those steak rolls before. We probably won't get them today. But those steak rolls, they were really good. Spinach dip. We had the spinach dip before? Yeah. We did? Well, I don't remember. Sometimes if I don't remember, it makes me feel like, was it good? I know we really enjoyed those steak rolls. Um, and them little chicken biscuit things, they on there? Oh yeah, they were okay. The chicken biscuit things, yeah, they're still on there. Where they at? But I really remember us liking the steak rolls. Um, we've seen people get like the sandwiches and things. They always look so good. We both always say we're gonna try a sandwich because they be looking good, but whenever we come, we, we never end up getting it. Did you get this bone-in cowboy steak before? No. Okay. Oh, we were with our friends. Our friend, he got that cowboy steak. Ooh, that thing was good. Yes, that thing looked so good. He said it was good. It Bring was, your appetite with that one. Yes, definitely. Bring saying? your appetite. Bring your appetite with that. And then, we always seem to get the same sides. The mashed sweet potato casserole is really good. The smoked Gouda mac and cheese is really good. Those are the two sides that we just got today, too. And let me tell y'all something. These, this right here, this bread situation that they bring these things right here man oh they're so good they're like a mix of like donut or something right but it's like bread i don't know i'll be like what is this elevated donut hole hmm? elevated donut hole i'd be like on tv like elevate this thing here how would you elevate this the donut hole but it's not really donut hole but because it, it still gives like a roll bread. or bread, bread too mm-hmm I'm like, what is it? It's so good. You can't finish your meal. Can't finish eating your meal because they're so good. You can take your food home. These are so good. I'll come in here just for these. I wonder if people come in here and just get these. <laughs> if y'all ever been to Stony River, and you know what I'm talking about, let me know in the comments. If you are addicted to these little bread things, I feel like I could do this whole video on this. People say Krispy Kreme's addicted, huh? Right. They ain't had these. We not got a second round of bread, y'all. We about to be taking our home. And it's like, cold what outside. is it, like brown cinnamon sugar butter? Yep. Mm -hmm. So it's cold outside, and it's very warm as a soul. Mm -hmm. oh. It comes out like nice and hot. <laughs> I want to go back to the kitchen. And I want somebody to explain to me 
what is it? I need to know how to make it. I need it in my life. I just need someone to explain the goodness. I want to know who invented it. <laughs> see the kitchen back there. See him cooking. You know how I feel when you can see the kitchen. I like that ambiance in here too. It's like, you feel like you're somewhere fancy. It feels fancy, but you don't have to be fancy. Like, you don't have to be dressed up. Like, people just in here dressed regular. But you feel like you should be dressed up. It just really makes me feel, it makes me feel good. It makes me feel like I'm doing well. I don't know if it's because it's kind of rainy out. So it's not as crowded in here because normally it do be packed in here. <laughs> Let me tell you something. When, you're, when your steak knife is not pre-wrapped in the napkin. She just brought this knife out. When, when they bring you your knife later, right before your food, and it's nice like that. You know you're in a good spot. You know you're in a good spot. You know your food about to be good. Mm -hmm. And your steak. <laughs> It's about to be steaking. Yep. Oh Lord, thank you for this delicious food that we are about to receive. Let it be a nourishment to our bodies. And God bless the hands that prepare this food. If they don't know you, Lord God, I pray that they do because I want them to go to heaven cooking up food like this. So Carl ordered off of the Chef Creations. He got the steak Annapolis. He always chooses so good. We got the same size that we always get. The um macaroni and cheese in the mashed sweet potatoes i got the coffee cured filet carl got this the last time we came and i tasted it and it was really good that's how i find out that i like stuff i taste it and i know i like it and then i order it the next time and so um this is what our food's looking like did you go in yet i did did you get some was it good, it was good. That shrimp on top? Yeah. That shrimp on top? It is. Good. I look. Oh, you want, oh, you sharing shrimp? You so nice. You gave me a big piece too. So as I mentioned before, Carl got this steak the last time and I tasted it so I already knew that it was about to be so good. And um, like I said, it's a coffee cured filet. So if you don't like that kind of sweet aspect to your steaks, you may not like it. But if you don't mind it, I would definitely recommend giving this one a try. That coffee cured on top. It's so good. Yep. It's like a little sweetness. But not too sweet. to make sure I paid Carl his bite back. <laughs> and then these mashed sweet potatoes, they never disappoint. Same with the macaroni. Even though I like the macaroni when it cools a little bit, that's when it really tastes good. Still good? The steak meals come with one side, but as y'all see, they're a nice size. So like Carl and I, we always share our sides <sighs> as far as I made it. <laughs> it was all that darn bread. The bread did me in. Still working? Still working. Carl's still working. Every time we have come here, they always get it right. Whatever we get, it's always so right. Let me tell y'all this. If you have a Stony River in your area, and it's been one of those places where you maybe have looked at it, you don't pay no mind like we did for years, go in and try it. I think that you will truly enjoy it. You can thank us later. Just come back to the video, send us a comment, be like, thank y'all for telling me I finally went in that Stony River. But you can't taste, the taste buds are broken. <laughs> I don't know. Good. Unless the taste buds are broken. Yep. Best decision we 
made in a long time, right? It is. It's out of marrying you. <laughs> Alright guys, this is the damage. Carl managed to make it through his. I did. Fix myself. Face yourself. You wouldn't believe me, I had doubters, but. <laughs> Cause you always gotta be a hero. Every time I be talking about you fool, you be talking about don't put that on me. <laughs> you didn't I was, I was eat. Hungry. And you didn't, that's true, you kept saying you were hungry. And you didn't eat as many bread balls as I did. Cause let me tell y'all, I told that, the, the bread did me in. That was it. But this, that's, this, but it's fine. Cause you know what? It's an early night. I'm gonna get home. We're gonna have a midnight snack. So everything that we everything that we got, the two steaks with the two sides, all got a drink. I just got water. And um it was how much Carl? 113. And that's before fifth. So because I know sometimes people ask, so uh, like, is it, you know, depending on where we go, was it was it expensive or how much was it? Well, I um, get that comment sometimes. And um, I get it too, wanting to know. The paying for quality food. You yes. want quality food? You can't be mad. The quality of food, service, everything's really good. So, 113, which I figure really isn't that bad. Again, when you go to some of these places like Lone Stop, not Lone Stop, Longhorn, you may drop like $80, $90. You know what I'm saying? So, and I feel like this is a little bit, not a little bit, I feel like it's a step up from that. Body cooking, service, ambiance. Everything, right? Got it. I'm a sucker for some good service. Everyone is just so polite and um, attentive. I love that. I love just getting good service from a restaurant. You know, sometimes you go to restaurants and they <laughs> they act like you getting on their nerves <laughs> by asking them for stuff. But yeah, that's a wrap for us. Thank you so much for hanging with us today. I am Chantel. I'm Carl. You are the C and the C of Living Our List with C and C. And Stony River is one place that stays on our list. Yeah, but thanks for hanging out with us, guys. Until next time. Bye-bye.